7 o'clock, we'll call the meeting to order. Uh, this is the Happy Zoning Board of Appeals. It's uh, May 25th, 2023, 7 p.m. Uh, we have a hearing on 248 Bay Road. We have a request for a finding under uh, Section 5.1.7 and or a variance under Section 6.2 of the Hadley Zoning Bylaw. Applicant is Sean Jenks, property located at 248 Bay Road the, on the north side. So the residential agricultural zone he, and the applicants proposing the construction of a second garage to be attached to the current pre-existing non-conforming structure. Um, there's relief. Uh, the, the salt relief is from the 15 foot side setback to a nine foot setback. Mr. Jenks says, you um, want to just tell us, tell us a little bit about what you're trying to do. Yeah. Um, currently I have a, um, the home of the one car attached garage. I wanted to put an identical garage attached to it. Um, which is, it's a slightly, well, it's 15 feet by six inches wide. The inches. current, yeah, 15, 15 foot by six inches. Yeah, 15 by six, or 15 and six. So I wanted to keep the theme the same and just put it, um, attach it to that current unit. An additional 15 foot six? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So then that's why we're here because then that brings me within four feet six inches of the um property line with um leonard wanzi and i have a letter signed letter from uh lenny actually saying that um he's okay with me there's actually Three copies. I had no idea how many to make, and I guessed right. <clears throat> Just saying that it's fine. And his house is uh, 106 yards away from mine, and it's not only that far away, but it's also set back further than mine. You said, have... you said it would be garage that you're attaching would be only four feet, six inches from his property line? Yes. Four feet, six inches? Yep. So that's, okay. Right now I'm 20 feet from him. And then when I add that 15, six, that'll bring it down to four, six. So the setback will end up being basically four feet. And six inches. <laughs> <laughs> And then what I'm planning on doing is, I mean, I'm very meticulous about my property, but I'm going to, I have, I'll put a retaining wall that'll come up um, along this, it's not really a retaining wall, I guess it would just be a wall mm -hmm. that would come up um, even with the cement foundation. So that makes it look pretty on that side. And I have pictures, um, if you need them, of... Uh, Here's my house with Lenny's. Um, you can see in the background. Mm -hmm. And then I also have pictures of the um, property line that's staked out that um, Eaton, Randy came out and did. And what I do is I put a stake, if you look closely in the middle, of where the garage would extend out to. Oh yeah. And I put a red uh so that you could see it. Are you going to run the added garage in line with the current one or is it going to yes. be a step back or No, it's going to stay all in one, line. even in line yeah with the whole house in the current garage. Right. So you're going to have to take down that tree too then. Huh? Yeah, that's uh, pretty sure. Um right now it's a two width driveway. Mm -hmm. And um, if you're on the other side of that tree, there would actually be enough room with that garage if the tree stayed there. But I don't. I think the roots would disrupt because it would. I'm not going to go three width wide, mm -hmm. so I'm just going to have kind of a little an jog. extension. Yeah, and there's a enough of a jog there that will allow that. But now, does 15 foot six, or excuse me, yeah, does 15 foot six wide include that entry door adjacent to the garage yeah. door? Yeah. Okay, so, so I you're going that full width. The full width, yeah, from the door over to the garage. So um, that, I was, that part is 15 feet, 6 inches right there that we're looking at? Yeah, that whole thing from the door 
on the uh, east side all the way across. And the reason for that is because in the center, I'm thinking that if you have two vehicles in there, I want to have enough room to open the door. Yeah. So that will allow extra room in the middle um, than you probably would normally have. <clears throat> Is this something that's a, a must have? Is there a reason why you have to do this? Yes, I have two vehicles. I have a, a 2004 H2 Hummer that's a classic and it never sees daylight. So it's always in the garage. Don't they so, always? yeah. <laughs> so my current vehicle sits outside and um, this summer I'm, uh, I bought that one in 2017. So I'm going to be buying a new vehicle. So I'd like to keep them both in the garage. Um, another question related, um, is there another place on your property where you could put a similar size garage? No. Um, if you go to the other side, um, I have these for you. The other side is, um, there's not not really enough room there, and and that is the access to the backyard on the east side of the house. Now that property behind the house, that large wedge, that's yours. Yes, and then I have a topographical pictures as well. If you want those to see yeah. that, yeah, please. So you could see. Um, we well, have plenty of room up behind, <clears throat> although we do have a brook that goes through. Mm -hmm. um, and I have a shed back there right now. And then I have a <laughs> what turned out to be a very expensive bridge going over the brook. <laughs> um, but uh, so, yeah, that's that's there. I thought it was going to be about 1500. It turned into about 45, 5000 between having Omas to come out and put because I had to put 24 inch four cement foundations down in in case flooded over so yeah. it wouldn't drag the carry the brook away or the bridge away and the bridge was like a couple of grand and and then they had to put stone in there so that it didn't erode and yeah it was but I love it it's beautiful <clears throat> Then I don't know. I have a so full picture of front house. If you don't like that, sure. I think I so I don't have a I don't have a problem with this. I think it's sort it's um sort of an unusual layout. The way the um the neighbor's house is really far away. So it's not like the like you, you can see here the neighbor's house is so far away. And the neighbor doesn't care. The neighbor doesn't care, but I do have a concern. This is a variance. Yeah, and so it's going to affect people who, if you sell your house, it's going to affect them. And if Wanzies sell their house, the new buyers will have to live with a five, basically a five foot setback. Yeah. Um, but they will have already seen it too, if they're buying the house, because it's already going to be constructed. So. Right. Yeah. But and, <laughs> doing it is a problem. Creating a setback that small. I mean, yeah. we've, we've turned down setbacks for 10, feet, nine feet. And their um, wanzies are 106 feet away or 35 and 0.3 yards away. So it's like Lenny said, you know, if we were right, if he was right on top of it, then he'd have to think about it. Because I'm so far away. I don't know. No, was he planning on coming here to speak on your behalf? No, he, he uh, there's a letter. letter. Just a letter? Yeah. <laughs> he asked me if I needed him here and I said, I didn't think so because the I thought the letter said it all instead of inconveniencing him. I don't know. On the face of it, it looks reasonable. Um, and the reality of it is that it's reducing a setback significantly to where we haven't gone before. Uh, I mean, I, I, I think one reason I feel comfortable with that is just that the, the neighbor is so far away from that setback. It's not like it, the two houses aren't on top of each other. I mean, I think you know, Tim always said that the setbacks were originally 
a uh, there's sort of a fire safety prevention thing to make sure that the houses aren't too close to each other and so and for maintenance and things like that um <clears throat> and you don't really have anywhere else you could put this garage no. without completely blocking the backyard. Yeah. Well, Andy's already got the garage on that side of the yeah. house. Yeah. So yeah, it would look the a little silly with the garage. It would look like two family. Yeah. Um, Does this constitute a hardship? <clears throat> well, he's very limited by his setback. Yeah, I've, I think if the neighbor is far enough away and he doesn't have an issue with it, I mean, I appreciate the fact you like having your vehicle in the garage, as, as do I. It's a nice house as well. Thank you. Been there eight years. What do you think? You know, it looks good on the face of it. I am concerned about... The board approving a setback that small. I just don't recall in eight years or well, 13 years on being on the board of ever doing that. Mm. What number are you comfortable with as a like what's your what's the lowest you've gone yet? I don't have a number, but this board has never has turned down setbacks of 10 feet, nine feet, eleven feet in the past 13 years. This is five feet, actually less. How close were they to the house next door? Well, each is a different situation. Right. And, and That's why. you know, this has to be judged on its merits. I just, that's my main concern. I mean, if, if his neighbor was at, <clears throat> at the 15 feet off the, off the yeah. setback, oh, yeah. and he was asking to go to five feet off the setback, I'm, I would, I'd be concerned. With the particular layout of how far the neighbor is away from there, that's, that's, that's the only reason I would consider going to that that close off the setback. I mean, he's not even away, but he's also he's away and, and back and behind. Okay, well, I, I see that. I'm being a little. Um, no, I I understand your point. I have concerns. We have a letter, but it isn't certified or registered or anything. And if you know, if this person, I tr I believe you, but if this person changed his mind and decided to argue with, the, with this board's ruling because of the setback being so significant. This isn't enough to protect the town, this board. It's a consideration, especially when things that are getting so litigious these days. I, I mean, it, um, it looks good to me. I would want to do it. But I want the board to think very hard about it. I mean, do you want to talk to Mr. Wansing? Well, you're the attorney, Andrew. Are you happy with that as enough back backup for a well, I mean, decision? I, I mean, I I am because we we did we did. He was sent a letter. He was sent the notice of the hearing. You know, he could be here to 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 oppose it if he wanted to. Um, we've accepted letters from neighbors in the past. Um, mm -hmm. He he also if if say this letter was fraudulent, which I don't think it is, he would have the opportunity to appeal the decision yeah. af afterwards. He has a twenty day appeal period to to appeal the decision, so um, he would have that recourse as well. But again, he was he was notified of tonight's hearing too. Um, well, I can go with that. You know, it's it's. I just a, think it's an unusual enough situation with how the houses are. When you look at that overhead view how the houses are set so far away from each other and the way the road is, he, he, Mr. Jenks has sort of been, the way the road is curving there, I feel like it, the, the houses are set in a weird way. The reason I'm bringing this up, Mr. Jenks, is that to grant a variance, there are certain conditions the board has to make sure are in place. There has to be no, you know, there has to be a real hardship for you to need the variance. There has to be topographical information and problems with the topography. Uh, there has to be no harm caused by it. And, you know, this, it's borderline. <laughs> it doesn't seem to be really a no hardship. No pun intended. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It doesn't seem to be a hardship, but I can see Andrew's point about it not bothering, if it's not bothering the neighbor, 
problem, you know, is that in the future, if Wanzi's were to sell the property, the new owner does have to live with that diminished setback. And, and same thing if you sell your house. But, you know, all things considered, I guess I could, I could. Uh, are these your, are, are these trees, are the arborvitae here? Are those arborvitae? Are they those right are, on, are those on the property line that yeah, are going? They're on my side. Line? Yeah. Big. Oh, my God, they're huge. I got a matching set on the other side. In fact, they have uh, Duke's landscaping coming in to trim them. They've gone out of, like, the width. They got to go start diet. Yeah. <laughs> They're great. Um, They're right. Really good. Good. Oh, that group. I mean, in terms of hardship, from my perspective, where else is he going to put the garage? Like, if you put it on the office side of the house, you'd be entering into potentially, I imagine that's a bedroom. In yes. the corner there. Um, Two bedrooms. Yeah. So one on the back side, too. I mean, he's pretty pigeonholed against, I mean, for obvious reasons, you would choose the, the easier method. But, I mean, he's kind of stuck to where he can put it. And it just happens to be on this side that's closest to the property line. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm comfortable accepting the letter, especially, like Andrew said, the time that your neighbor has provided to him to appeal. The decision, um, Mr. Jenks has presented this letter in good faith on behalf of his neighbor, which I accept as valid. Um, I, like I said, I'd be more concerned if both the houses were going to be right on top of the of the boundary. Yeah, you said you're 100 um, yards away from him? 106. 106 yards. So over no, 106 uh, feet. 30, feet. Oh, 30, okay. 35 yards. And in, terms of, the, and in yeah. terms of the orientation of, um, of the Wanzi house... They're never going to want, you would never, they're never going to want to build towards the boundary line either, even or, or a future owner is not going to build towards the boundary line there. They're, they're so far, they're so far off the, off the boundary line that there, there would never be an issue with the two houses being close to each other. And if he did add a garage on that house, it would be on where his driveway is, which is on the west side of his. Yeah, I was just going to ask, where is his driveway? Yeah, it's on the west side of his house, opposite oh, like yeah. my house. Is that all the woods behind your house? Yes. Uh huh. And then okay. uh, uh, the west farm abuts it on the back side there. Okay. Uh, okay. I know where it's now. Yeah. You'd have to that's west chop down there. quite a few trees if you were going to put it there, right? Yeah, and but there's wetlands back yeah. there too. Okay. Well, so, that's. So That's there, what I wanted. There's to some topography for you. That's so, what I wanted. So there's a brook, and then behind the brook, that's all wetlands. Okay, so we have to stay. Yeah. We have to stay yeah, touch the brook that. too. That's the topography issue that you needed to have. Oh, okay. So I'm convinced. All right. Thank you. <laughs> well, with that sentiment, then uh, this is a. Can I see this? This is a variance. It's a. It's technically a, it's a variance. I think we should do a. I think we should do a finding too. Find because it's, it's a. Find that it's not more non-conforming. Yeah, that the addition is not going to... Okay. It's a period, yeah. So, so I'll make a motion um, to uh, for a finding um, under 5.1.7 um, of the Hadley Zoning Bylaw that the proposed addition to um, Sean R. Jenks' property located at 248 Bay Road is not... How is it? Not, not more, more non-conforming. Not more non-conforming uh, than already... Uh, to the existing non-conforming structure. Do we hear a second on the finding? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And then I will make a motion to grant a variance under 6.2 of the Hadley Zoning Bylaw um, for Sean R. Jenks' property located at 248 Bay Road um, for the proposed construction of a attached second garage bay um, encroaching further upon the setback to four feet six inches, not to exceed. So the, let me get this straight in my head. The result, the end, the end, uh, the end result will be that the setback from Wanzi's property will be four feet six inches. Correct. Not to exceed. Not to exceed. Do we have a second on that? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. 
All right. Uh, we don't have any other business. We do need to get the minutes on, on the. Uh, we have to put together some minutes. I'll have to do that on the uh, outstanding issues that we have. And you need to send me an updated blurb because you changed it oh, okay. between now and then. And if I and I'm going to put them in the. I'm keeping the record of all the hearing. Well, that's, that's a good idea. And all the board meeting minutes. Um, so make give a them to me. I'll put them in. Yeah. So we'll, um, make a motion to adjourn. Here a second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.